Russia will destroy Ukraine's military in 48 hours, warns Putin ally. This is the first time that British NLAW anti-tank guns have been used by Ukrainian forces in combat training. The Lviv exercises come as Russia tightens its military circle around Ukraine, rejecting any desire to invade. But one of Vladimir Putin's closest allies predicted that it would take no more than 48 hours for the Russians to invade Ukraine since they are so outnumbered in Kyiv. Military officials in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, said that British training mission representatives briefed him to the performance characteristics and aspects of the usage of light anti-tank weapons supplied by foreign allies. Handheld missile launcher with a superb guidance system and high likelihood of eliminating moving targets with the first shot has been dubbed the NLAW. Ukraine also has US-made Javelin anti-tank guided missiles, as well as its own anti-tank systems and drones that can be used to shoot at tanks. Heavy Russian military equipment continues to arrive in Belarus, which is located to the north of Ukraine, and in Crimea, which was taken by Russia earlier this month. New social media video from the eastern Ukrainian districts of Rostov and Voronezh also shows significant military gear. Another video shows the delivery to Belarus of 12 Russian Pantsir S anti-aircraft missile systems, reportedly for cooperative military drills. With Russia's personnel currently estimated by Ukraine at 130,000, the United States claims it has the firepower to undertake a partial or total invasion of Ukraine. Heavily invested in Putin, Konstantin Malafeyev manages a pro-Kremlin investment organization and operates Zanak Media, a pro-Kremlin media outlet. It is impossible to have a long-term war between Russia and Ukraine because of the huge disparity in military might between the two countries. Only an operation to force the peace, he said. A 48-hour time frame is the absolute limit. Various fronts will not be discussed inside that time frame. Said Ukraine was now being influenced by Anglo-Saxon secret agencies, such as those of the United States and the United Kingdom. As he added, the invasion has already taken place. United States and British special forces are already operating inside Ukraine's borders. In the Baltic, Russians practiced firing missiles at aggressor ships with bastion missile systems that can be moved along the coast.